we know going to therapy can really help to boost our mental health, but finding the right therapist maybe isn't so easy. Colleen can help though. Colleen Marshall, Vice President of Clinical Care at Two Chairs is here tonight. Hey Colleen, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so finding a great therapist is like an excellent New Year's resolution, but why is finding the right one so important? Yeah, so therapy, uh, the relationship is the most important, excuse me, important part of therapy because um, uh, therapy is a relationship-based intervention, which means the relationship has to be right for therapy to work. Um, and so when we're talking about what do we mean by a strong therapy relationship, what the American Psychological Association says is that you want a relationship with your therapist where you're working on mutually established goals, you feel like you're making progress on those goals, and that you feel like you're able to give feedback to your therapist and your therapist is responding to an adjusting treatment based on your feedback. And if there's any relationship issues at all, that those are really um, fixed and repaired. Those are critical for the um, relationship to be right for people to get positive outcomes from treatment. That makes total sense because obviously when you're in a therapy session, you're talking to someone that you hopefully are trusting about yourself. And if you don't like get a good vibe from that person, you're probably not going to be as open and honest and accepting of like what they might have to say if it's just not working out. Yeah, absolutely. And the sad thing is what we see is many people actually go to one session and then drop out of therapy mm -hmm. thinking therapy is not for them. What we know is they just didn't find the right therapist. Um, and, you know, and they say one out of five of them say that they quit therapy because they didn't trust their therapist, sure. which is really sad. That's why we created the matchmaker at Two Chairs is because we want to make sure we get the match and the relationship right from the beginning so people actually stay in care. Yeah. So tell me about this therapy matchmaking that you guys created at Two Chairs. Yeah, so we really did a lot of research on what is important in a therapeutic alliance and relationship, and then we built our matchmaker based on that research. Um, and what the matchmaker is, is it's a 45 minute session that a licensed therapist meets with the client the first time they enter two chairs. And we're assessing what the client's looking for in treatment, what are their goals, what, are, what specialties does the therapist need to have. But we're also assessing preferences and relationship. What are they looking for in a provider? Um, do they want someone who's expressive or not expressive, structured, not structured, uses homework, doesn't use homework, things like that. And then the therapist puts all that information into our matchmaker um, algorithm, which matches the client on over 300 different factors. Um, and then they find the right therapist for the client based on that. And what we know is it's working because our data tells us that 98% of the time we get it right the first time, 2% of the time we do do rematches. Um, and we also can see our clients are staying in treatment longer. The national standard right now is only 33% of clients stay in care past the fourth session. At two chairs, 90% of our clients wow. stay in treatment past the fourth session. So we really are seeing the benefit of focusing on those relationships and making sure the match is right. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That's a very high stat, uh, statistic. How long have you guys been using this matchmaker um, feature? Yeah, so Two Chairs has been, um, we, we built it over time and have been iterating it um, over time, but we've been in, in existence for about five years um, using the matchmaker the way it exists today. And obviously you believe that mental health check-ins are so important. What does that mean for us um, as a society, especially we're going into a new year, like planning those mental health check-ins? Does it need to be once a week? Is it something you can do like without a therapist? Does it need to be with a therapist? What do you guys think? Yeah, so it depends on what your goals are and what you're going through. That, But most therapy is going to um, do a weekly, it usually starts as weekly therapy, and then it moves into bi-weekly or monthly when you start feeling better. Um, for us, mental health check-ins, though, we're also checking in on the data. It's filling out some standardized assessments um, that we use in therapy at two chairs um, in every session. So both the client and the therapist are looking at standardized measures to let you know whether you're getting better or not, or whether it's time to graduate or whether treatment is over. So really that mental health check-in is checking in on how you're doing overall. Um, depression and anxiety specifically is the most common reason people come to treatment. Um, so we look, we look at measures to let us know how we're doing so that we know whether or not we might want to seek a therapist or whether we're doing you know fine and maybe don't need therapy right now. And where can we go to get all this information and maybe start using that matchmaker feature? Yeah, so twochairs.com. Um, we are in California, Florida, and Washington right now where you can schedule consult or uh, matchmaking appointments 
I'm directly on the website. Um, it also has more information there about who we are in our website. And we are coming to more states this year. So we will likely be in um, your area soon. Great. Well, Colleen, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate you having me. We'll be right back with our trip to the BMO to get you ready for Disney on Ice this weekend. You do not want to miss this.